Hello and welcome to my video series, uh, Making Alexa Skills with Python. This is part one. Um, this is the introduction to uh, Alexa Skills, basically, um, in Python, of course. Uh, okay, so right off the bat, this is the Amazon Echo. That is the actual device you've got right now. Well, you've got several ones, but two most common ones are the Dot um, and the Echo, the taller one. Um, now that it's different from the Amazon Alexa service, right? The Amazon Alexa service is an intelligent personal assistant developed by Amazon. Let's go back. Oh, I missed it. Um, this is just a smart speaker. The Amazon Echo is just a smart speaker. It's a system of microphones and a speaker. This is the, the software that you're using. And this software is, um, yeah, so it's in the Amazon Echo, the Amazon Echo Dot, the uh, Fire TV, it's also <laughs> going to be, or is in now, currently, labs, DVRs, cars, trucks, refrigerators. So it's important to remember that the Dot is, you know, a smart speaker, and Alexa is kind of the software. Um, and Alexa skills are sort or to add features. Um, a good analogy for the Alexa skills would be um, like apps on your phone, possibly. Um, so what we're going to do is be making those skills add functionality to the Alexa kind of ecosystem, um, this Amazon Alexa software. All right, so uh, this tutorial will teach you how to make these skills with Python. This is part one. Um, I think we're at, set, I have enough slides for seven or eight um, parts. We'll see, I'm trying to break it up in a small, little bite-sized bits so that um, it's not too overwhelming and also that way I'm not recording like a video that is one hour long in total it's like yeah <laughs> okay so the requirements of going through this series are going to be um, a basic understanding of Python and an Amazon web service account AWS account so if you have you know if you've done anything with uh, EC2 or S3 maybe um, you should already have an account uh, recommendations is have um, one of these guys, uh, the Echo Dot, um, or the Amazon Echo, the taller one. There's also, a, I guess, a portable one. It's really cool. Um, they're really cheap. Or, well, the Dot's really cheap. I think it's like 50 bucks. Um, and the, the other one's a little taller, a little more expensive. I, I, I like the Dot. It's very small, very convenient. Um, if you can't, there's an alternative. There is this website, at this URL, um, that will kind of give you a simulator, but um, it's a lot better to actually have the device in front of you. It's not required, but I mean, I really recommend getting the device, playing with it. I mean, you're gonna learn a lot more about just how the device fits into your life and consequently how you should be developing for it if you actually own one. Um, yeah, otherwise you're just kind of kind of guessing, but you know, it's good to experiment. Um, Infrastructure, uh, although you can create Amazon skills on your own server, we're actually gonna be using uh, the AWS Lambda service. It's their serverless compute. Um, that way we don't have to run our own servers ourselves. We're basically going to be giving Amazon some code and they're gonna be running it on demand. So when someone says something that activates our little skill, oops, it's off camera, our little skill, um, it will run code on the AWS Lambda all right, um, one thing to know before we start anything technical of coding or anything is that um, there is JSON everywhere um, with Alexa. Almost everything you're gonna be dealing with is JSON and it's important to remember that that is going to be basically translated when you're dealing with the lambdas, the, the AWS Lambda and its relationship with Alexa, you're going to be dealing with Python dictionaries, all right? You're gonna see a lot of nested Python dictionaries. And quite often in the code samples I'm gonna be showing you, um, what I'm going to do is assign those to other variables just to shorten the names. So that way we don't have like a chain of, you know, I believe there's one sample that has like a nested Python dictionary, it's like five deep. So we'll hope just, you know, you'll see, yes, you'll be seeing many, many dictionaries. Um, so this is a quick little example of sort of the way it looks like, of what the JSON looks like. So this would be a request that would be going to our service and we'll be parsing this to decide what to do. And this is just, don't don't worry, this is, you don't need to remember or understand anything about what this is um, or what it's doing. I'm just trying to give you an, 
so you can kind of visualize it. That's why it's just a photo. This is a, isn't even code you can copy. And this would be a response. Um, now we're going to go into some essential ideal, ideas um, to kind of get you introduced. So don't worry um, about how these things work. Just, just understand that there are concepts that you're going to need and that you're going to be engaging in as you go forward developing Alexa skills. Okay, so the wake word, um, the wake word for um, the Amazon Alexa, and as you noticed, um, I have mine um, unplugged because otherwise, uh, that would be, if you have one, I apologize, I should have probably said this at the beginning, um, she, it's just going to keep on responding to Alexa. Every time you say Alexa, it, um, it's, it, it wakes up. Um, it, also, uh, Echo will work, and um, Computer will work, too. So I apologize to all those people. I should have given you a warning. Maybe I'll put a little bit of warning on the title screen of um, every time you say her name, she wakes up. You may have seen this with the TV. If you have one of these little devices and someone says it on the TV, sometimes it'll wake up. Uh, invocation name, all right? This is the name that, so make sure I get out. So wake word is what basically, when you say Alexa, the device turns on and starts listening. Um, despite what people say, I should get into this. Um, so a lot of people have the false idea that Alexa is recording everything you say and sending it to some server, um, at Amazon headquarters. That would actually be kind of awesome. If that was the case, we could do all kinds of cool stuff with it. That is totally not the case at all. This little device just listens to the wake word and then it starts parsing what you say. So I was at um, an Alexa event and they, people were trying to build products to basically just casually listen to conversations. Then, you know, it doesn't work like that. You have to use the wake word. I mean, maybe it will, and maybe secretly it does. And I'm, I'm, I've been misled, but I don't think that that's not the case. You have to say your Alexa wake, you have to say the wake word, Alexa, echo or computer, and then the little ring lights up and then it waits to hear some other kind of indicator of what kind of action to do. And that will bring us to our next thing. So for our purposes, um, because this isn't really a tutorial on how to use the Alexa generally, this is about how to make the skill. So hopefully you already have a kind of an idea of how you use it and the things you can do with just the little device right now. Um, so the invocation name, it's a name we use to access the skill. All right, so the example we're going to be using right now is saying that our skill is called the daily numerology. That's the skill name, all right? So it's just like other apps on like a, other app stores, you know, they have a name and you have a name and then you also have an invocation name. So if the invocation name is the name you say to Alexa so it knows what skill to use. So in this example, it is daily numerology. So I will say Alexa, that's the wake word, open daily numerology and that's how it knows to open up my skill that is called or rather who has an invocation name of daily numerology and you can you can do that invocation in a different number of different ways alexa give me my daily numerology is another way and what's important is just this daily numerology that's the kind of keyword is going to pick up and know oh i know what skill they want now the user does need to enable those skills for that wake word to work for them um, and then another example here is a, more, a little more complex. Um, Alexa, ask a daily numerology about the number 23. Um, in each one of these things, daily numerology is the invocation name. So hopefully that makes sense. The invocation name is the, the words you're going to have where Alexa knows how that ties to your app, right? So we have told Amazon and Alexa that daily numerology is our invocation name. And so whenever we have Alexa open, daily numerology is gonna open up that skill. Maybe I'm being a little bit redundant, but hopefully hopefully you, you got that, all right? Intents, all right? Intents are what the user wants to accomplish, okay? Um, they might say it in different ways, but the intent is the same. So we're gonna be designing these things as intents, all right? So here, once again, we're gonna have a couple examples is Alexa ask daily numerology about the number 13. Alexa, ask daily numerology if 13 is lucky. Alexa, ask daily numerology 13, all right? So these are all different ways of saying the same thing. And what that thing is, is we have an intent to know about the numerology of the number 13, all right? So we're all gonna map all these, all these, uh, 
utterances, as they are called, to an intent. All right, slots are like variables. All right, so here we go. Alexa, ask daily numerology of 13 is lucky. And here we go with this here. We're basically, so this could go with anything. So we could replace that 13 with 7, 8, 9, any number, right? So when we're writing these utterances of what people are going to say when they invoke our skill, sometimes we'll do these slots. So that will give us um, some variables. Um, and then that slot is going to be passed to our Lambda function. And once again, this is just a high level overview, just so you get these concepts. We're going to be going much deeper into each one of these in separate videos, but I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of a little bit of idea how it works. All right. Sessions. Sessions are a series of interactions with a shared memory. It's, I think that's the best definition we've got. Um, it's almost like a session cookie on a web browser, right? So the web browser session cookie is only going to be around, only really going to re be remembered until you close or end that session. Once that session's gone, poof, it goes away. It's not, you know, yes. I'll try not to confuse any more about that, yes. Uh, but once again, we'll be going into all these concepts in depth. This is just a very high level overview. Um, a response. So when Alexa responds, she's going to give you two things or she's gonna produce two things. One is there's going to be an output speech, like we've probably all seen, where she says something to you, but there's also a concept of a card that is created. That card can be accessed either through the app or um, the web interface. And it's kind of like a graphical user, graphical representation of the response. And it can be a variety of way, variety of things. Like there's one, if you want to get um, access to a user's location, you need to get that authorization through a card, or that's the way it works right now. Um, you can't just ask somebody you can't, through the device. Um, all right, and that is the end of the introduction. Hopefully, um, I haven't confused you too much, but maybe rewatch the video again and um, see if those things sink in. Um, once again, we're going to be going through all these concepts in much more depth as we go through. And this is just part one. Um, there's gonna be more in the very, very few, very soon. Um, so yes, thank you for watching.